This is Marcus. Welcome back to my podcast. I want to talk about kingdom overcomers. You know, in this life, we are called to be overcomers in this world. This world should not have an influence or an effect on us. We should have an influence or effect on it. As we receive Christ Jesus as our Lord, let him continue, let us continue rather, to walk in him. Our foundation scripture is going to be Revelation twelve eleven, And it says, And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. And they loved not their lives unto the death. We are supposed to live as overcomers in this world. We overcome only in Christ. The closer to Christ we get, the more we conquer the enemy in this world. John sixteen thirty three says, These things I have spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace. In the world ye shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. Regardless of what happens in this world, as long as we are in and with Jesus, we have nothing to fear. It says in 1 Corinthians fifteen fifty seven, But thanks be to God, which give us, us victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. All we have to do is keep our eyes and hearts on Jesus. 1 John 5, 5 says, Who is he that overcometh the world, but he that believeth that Jesus is the Son of God? Jesus lives in the overcomer of this world. And as long as we believe in Jesus, he will live in us. It says in 1 John 4, 15, Whosoever shall confess that Jesus is the Son of God, God dwelleth in him, and he in God. Our attention should not be on anyone or anything in this world that is contrary to the word of God. Our attention should be only on Jesus. Romans 8.31 says, What shall we then say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? This world cannot judge us. This world will be judged by God himself. So we are to keep our hearts toward God and him only. 1 John 5.4 says, For whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world. And this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. It is as we trust and believe in Jesus and the Father that will cause us to be overcomers in this world. Romans 8.37 says, In all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. Ephesians 6.10 says, Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. When we really trust the Lord, nothing can defeat us. Our protection from this world and the enemy comes through our obedience. 1 John 3.24 says, And he that keepeth his commandments dwelleth in him, and he in him. And hereby we know that he abideth in us, but the spirit which he giveth us. As long as we stay with Christ, we overcome this world. It says in 2 Corinthians 2, the first half of verse 14, Now thanks be unto God, which always calls us to triumph in Christ. As we spend time with Christ, we will begin to fear him. We must fear him in order to receive his provision and protection. The word fear here means to stand in awe of, reverence, and honor. It calls for astonishment. And it says in Psalms 34, 9, Tell us, O fear the Lord, ye his saints, for there is no want to them that fear him. We are commanded to fear the Lord. Psalm twenty two twenty three. 
Ye that fear the Lord, praise him. So we are commanded as we fear the Lord to praise him. As we begin to fear the Lord, we draw closer to him. And the closer we get to God, the less influence this world has on us, which causes us to triumph over it. Obedience to the Lord and fearing the Lord are the two things kingdom citizens need to do in order to overcome. As we determine to love the Lord with our whole hearts on a consistent basis, we will begin to see God's manifestation of his glory and presence on and in our lives. Revelation 21, 7 says, He that overcometh shall inherit all things, and I will be his God, and he shall be my son. In the book of Revelation, I identified several things that we will obtain and and get uh, from the Lord as overcomers. The word overcomer, by the way, means to conquer, to prevail, to subdue, to be victorious, and to overpower. And it says in Revelation 2 verse 7, for those of us that decide that we want to be overcomers. It says, Will I give to eat of the tree of life, which is in the midst of the paradise of God? Verse 11 says, "Shall not We shall not be hurt in the second death. Verse 17 says, Will I give to eat of the hidden manna, and will give him a white stone, and in the stone a new name written, which no man knoweth, saving he that receiveth. It says in verse 26 through 28, And keepeth my works, these are the overcomers, uh, that keepeth the works unto the end. To him will I give power over the nations, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron. This is the overcomer that will do this. As the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers, even as I received of my father, and I will give him the morning star. Revelation 3 verse 5 says to the overcomer, the same shall be clothed in a white raiment, and I will not blot out his name out of the book of life, but I will confess his name before my father and before his angels. Verse 12 says, Will I make a pillar in the temple of my God, and he will go no more out, and I will write upon him the name of my God, and the name of the city of my God, which is New Jerusalem, which cometh down out of heaven from my God, and I will write upon him my new name. This is what would happen to us if we decide that we will become overcomers in this world. Verse 21 says, Will I grant to sit with me in my throne, even as I also overcame and am set down with my father in his throne? You know, only the overcomer will be granted this privilege. It says in verse 21, verse 7, I said it before and I'll say it again. He shall inherit all things And I will be his God, and he shall be my son. Isn't that a blessing? These are the things that we will obtain if we make up in our minds that we're going to overcome this world. No matter what this world has to offer us, there are greater and more glorious things that await those of us that decide we're going to go on to follow the Lord and become overcomers. Well, that's all I have for you this evening. I will talk with you the next time. So God bless.